So there's been a lot of talk about Chapter 21's new killer and it potentially being Pinhead, but there hasn't been a lot of talk about the new Survivor being original. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing that. Kings and Queens, welcome back to the channel. And today I have a theory video for you guys about what the new Survivor could potentially bring into DBD. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe down below and leave a like if you do enjoy. We're currently on vacation. That's why I'm wearing the same shirt. So you guys are going to be seeing this on the Thursday. If there is any new information and you're wondering why I'm not covering it right now, that's probably why. In yesterday's video, we spoke about how the new chapter is most likely to be Pinhead. And if you recall, we got some leak from DBD leaks, basically saying that this is probably going to be two separate paragraphs for the killer and the survivor. We've seen this happen before with Leatherface and other DLCs such as Ghostface where we only receive a paragraph for whatever issues DBD are currently facing with the licensing, whether that being just licensing and rights issues or any foreseeable issues in the future. So it's nothing too strange to us. But what exactly does that mean for the survivor? Well, chances are we are pretty much going to be getting an original survivor. So you're probably wondering how on earth would you ever speculate on what the original survivor could be? And you're right, I can't. I can't tell you who it's going to be, but I can tell you what they can offer. And it's quite simple, to be honest, in my eyes at least. We know that with the new survivor coming on out, you obviously would be able to purchase this with shards or orc cells. And there really wouldn't be too much incentive for you to buy this character considering if their perks are weak or they're just a reskin if you don't vibe with them you won't need them there's been countless times where people don't buy any of the characters because their perks are pretty bad and they're just reskins to be honest with other killers at least you get a different power you get a different feel with everything different noises different animations with the survivor it is just a complete reskin and that's pretty much all that you get if the perks are quite decent you might jump the gun and go and bite him but then sometimes they can even get nerfed and you don't really know what to expect however recently it came to my attention that there was something in the dead by daylight anniversary stream that they mentioned that could potentially come into the game now to really bump up the sales on the new survivor now obviously it's going to need to tug a lot of weight if it's being sold separately as it's not in that forced in package deal that you would typically get in your dlcs with the map and everything so what is that going to be and my friends i think it's quite simple boon totems might be connected with the new survivor it makes a lot of sense if you haven't seen our video on what boon totems are a quick little recap on that and i'll also leave it in the description down below if i don't forget Boon totems are basically going to be survivor hex totems except they're called boon totems we don't know exactly how this is going to work but it looks like survivors are probably going to have to go to a dull totem and activate it to become a boon totem, protect the totem to get its benefits or stay around the actual totem itself. And this is going to give you some pretty cool benefits. Maybe run a little bit faster if you're around the totem. Maybe it can be something like heal faster, whatever the case may be. It's going to be pretty awesome to say the least. Maybe it's passive healing or something crazy like that. Obviously with hex totems are high risk, high reward. The killer would obviously be able to break this totem and completely negate the perk the same way survivors are able to negate a hex perk. And I think it's time for Dead by Daylight to bring them in the game. They teased us about this not too long ago in the fifth year anniversary stream. And it makes a lot of sense to bring it out now with a character that won't be forced in a package deal. So it's up to the people if they want to purchase it. Now, if you're bringing something like that, a huge brand new feature, chances are your sales on this would be pretty high and it's smart marketing wise to do so. When hex totems were introduced as well on the hag, that is pretty much exactly how it works. I know a lot of you guys might be saying, well, that's just pay to win, but that exactly how the hag was when she came out into the game. And you're still able to purchase it with shards considering it's going to be an original killer. So if you have them saved up, which they've given us enough from the fifth year anniversary event to save up to buy one full character you probably have enough to purchase this one and get the new boon totems in the game of course there's also the shrine that you can get these totems from as well and i'm sure they're going to incorporate them every now and then so it will be quite interesting now we do have videos again covering exactly what boon totems are again they're not 100 set in stone of what their indications and powers are going to be we're only speculating on all of that but it makes perfect sense in my opinion. When you bring a character into the game, the only way that they would sell is if someone is, you know, 
into that character if they you know have relations to that character they like their lore whatever the case may be they can feel represented by them then that character would sell if not and it's not in a dlc bundle chances are people won't buy it so this makes the most sense to me bringing in pretty much a new feature with that character to hold their weight against a full-blown licensed killer coming into the game now again this is all speculative details you know we might not get boon totems on the new survivor the new survivor might still be incorporated in this package deal and the killer might not even be pennywise there's a lot of speculation going on here and the new killer might not be pinhead there's a lot of speculation that is currently going on but all this lines up quite well and it makes a lot of sense and i honestly think there is a high chance of this happening let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below do you agree or disagree with me do you think that something like this could happen will we see boon totems coming out with a new survivor in my opinion it makes a lot of sense not sure what else they would do if they don't bring in boon totems to the survivor to get people to buy and purchase that character so we'll have to wait and see but that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like down below and subscribe for some more dead by daylight content as more information comes out i'll try my best to get it to you again i am on vacation so we'll see if i'm able to do so and chances are i probably will so make sure you guys do subscribe but that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys did enjoy as always i'm the king i took my crown to you guys and we'll see you in the fog